Hit the road, Adriana Lima. Stressed out men everywhere have no use for you because if one study has it right, men who are stressed out under this tough economy before a little more meat on the bones. And sex therapist Dr. Wendy Walsh says it's only natural. Let me interpret for a second. High stress men like large women. Is that what this, sto this uh, study says? Well, they like women to carry a little more body fat, if you believe this study. And some people suggest it's linked to our anthropological past. Maybe when those hunters were in a time of famine, they wanted to have a nice meaty woman to deposit their baby juice in oh. so that their offspring would survive. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, let's get off that subject. Just for one brief shining moment, uh, the actual description uh -huh. is fleshier. Fleshier uh -huh. women are preferred by stressed out men. Define fleshier. Well, you know, I also like to look at from sort of a Freudian psychoanalytic style, which means that nice full breasts that are soft and warm and maybe like a pizza dough tummy are a wonderful place for a stressed out boy to cuddle in and get a sort of sense of mommy. So maybe that's what it's about. Is this good news or bad news for fleshier women that they are more attractive to stressed out men? Do you want, do, does, does a woman, any woman, want a stressed out man? <laughs> no, but we'd all like to heal him, wouldn't we? We'd want to make him feel better. Uh, no, I think this you is think? basically good news. Wait a news. minute, wait a minute. You, th <laughs> you think that is the basic female approach to sexuality and loving men? Oh, I just Not want to heal Not necessarily sexuality, you. but I think that we're very nurturing and maternal more than some men, so therefore it makes us feel good when we can calm and soothe a crying baby. I think you are but characterizing here's... negatively men. I think you are. I think that's grossly <laughs> sexist. Only some men, only some men. Some are great, as I say, great nurturing daddies. They're baby wearing, softball throwing, carpool driving, doting dads, and they're very nurturing. Okay, look, but you're, you're a professional. Are hunters. Do, do you really put any store in this kind of study, or is it just meant to create a headline and give us a very interesting segment? Which is it? Mm. Well, the sample group was not that large, so it is hard to generalize. But I will say this, that linked to this and another study I recently read that says that when men are economically stressed, they tend to prefer uncommitted sex, because apparently committed sex is more expensive. You can get uncommitted what? sex for just the price of a drink, apparently. Uh, so therefore, yes, when times are stressed, whether it's economic or other kinds of stress, we tend to revert back to our hunter-gatherer instincts, our reflexes. And maybe that's what hunters did. They looked for fleshy women so they could have healthy offspring. So the knuckle draggers way back when would uh, go back to the cave and demand some meat on the bone. Is that basically <laughs> what you're saying? I was more offered the other way. She often had a club in her own encampment with all her sisters and girlfriends and if a lucky hunter brought back enough protein then maybe she'd let him in. Lucky hunter. Uh, you know, that was fun. I'm not sure I believe it, but it was certainly fun. <laughs> Wendy Walsh, doctor, sex therapist. Thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Stuart.